Hi everyone, in this video we're going to find the inverse Laplace of this expression here. So we'll start off by rewriting what's inside here. So we have s over, and then let's think. If this factors, we should factor it. If it doesn't factor, then the next best strategy would be to complete the square. I think it's going to factor. Let's try it. So this is s, s. If it doesn't factor and like I messed up and we'll, and we'll complete the square. I think three and one. Yep. And I think the three is positive and the one is negative. Let's check. So s times s is s squared. Negative one times three is negative three. The inside piece is negative s. The outside piece is 3s. Negative s plus 3s is 2s. So it does indeed factor. So now we're going to use partial fractions. We can write this as a over s minus 1 plus b over s plus 3. That's because these are distinct linear factors. Okay, we can use the cover-up method to find a and b. So whenever you have distinct linear factors like this, you can use what's called the Heaviside cover-up method. It's named after Oliver Heaviside. This is the same Heaviside after which the unit step function is named, actually. Okay, so a is equal to, so to find a, you cover up what's under a, so s minus one. And you say, okay, what makes this piece zero? So one, so if I put a one here, it's gonna make this bottom piece zero. So you put a one everywhere else over here. So it'll be one over one plus three. So one over one plus three. So that's 1 over 4. So that would be your A. So A is equal to 1 fourth. Okay, to find B, you cover up what's under B. So B, you just go over here and cover up the S plus 3. And you ask yourself, what makes that undefined? So negative 3. So you plug in negative 3s into these S's over here. So it'd be negative 3 over negative 3 minus 1. So this is negative 3 over negative 4. This is equal to 3 fourths. So that's B. So you can write this. A is 1 fourth. You put it up top, but you really put it in the front when you do this. So 1 fourth times 1 over S minus 1. And then B, same thing. You put the 3 fourths in the front. 1 over S plus 3. Good stuff. Okay, now we just have to take the inverse Laplace of this. So when we do that, uh, we can pull out the constants because the inverse Laplace is linear. So I'll actually show all the work. This is the inverse Laplace of 1 fourth, 1 over s minus 1, plus 3 fourths, 1 over s plus 3. And then we can break it up into two individual inverse Laplaces. This is 1 fourth inverse Laplace of 1 over s minus 1, plus 3 fourths, inverse Laplace, 1 over s plus 3. All right, good stuff. So now we just use the formula on both of these. This is equal to 1 fourth. So 1 over s minus 1, that's going to give us e to the t. And then here, um, this is 3 fourths. This is going to give us e to the negative 3t. How do I know that? There is a formula, right? If you have the inverse Laplace, of 1 over s minus a, that's equal to e to the a t. So in this first example here, a is 1, so you simply get e to the t. Here it's s minus negative 3, so that gives you e to the negative 3t. I hope this video has been helpful. Take care.